held all those times at the lower support at the 10 cents and it had a nice massive rally from its swing low and it did come all the way back up to this fib circle and this uh, horizontal white line that we have at about 12 cents and now it's consolidating right in between those two ranges on top of the 200 and the 100 and the 50 right now so that's bullish and to me this looks like it's going to do one of these where it consolidates like that for a minute and then either breaks to the upside or it comes to the downside and if we look at some upside targets on a break up you would be looking at the old you guys remember back here because we were in here for a long time when we were trading in this range between the purple dotted line and this blue fib circle that's coming along that would be where you would look for a rejection most likely right where the 200 day is conveniently enough in the daily time frame right over that purple dotted line right at the purple dotted line is uh about 18 no 16 and a half cents uh 16 or 17 cents that would be yeah 16.9 cents that would be uh where you would look for a rejection if you did get a big volume spike and a big bullish pump and a big bear market rally right to get everybody in the crypto uh, world and in the stock market right now very happy get some money get back into the space calm everybody down and to start getting the good times rolling again right that would be your next logical area for a pump to have some major resistance right where the 200 day is and on the old supply zone from this long consolidation right here that formed an on topping reversal pattern or a double top in the daily time frame and then if you did a targeted move from that as you know, in basic technical analysis, you go from the top of the double top down to the neckline, which is the purple dotted line. Oops, get off there. Oh no, we gotta zoom in. And you go from the top to the bottom to the point of a breakout at the neckline. You can see where it gives you your targeted move. And that was down here at 11 and a quarter cents and it hit it beautifully on the first flush down, overshot it a little bit, but the buyers were stacked there, and then we formed our new uh, lower support, but this one's forming kind of a bottoming pattern. You see it? It's doing kind of a rounding bottom. That You often notice that when the buyers or the bulls are being exhausted, and the, or the sellers are being exhausted, and the bulls are stepping into the market to take over for a short-term short pump or a permanent pump, in this case, a bear market pump, and you often notice a rounding bottom, just the opposite of at, uh, at the top end where you notice a rounding top, right? And then the old XRP is in another similar spot. It's being rejected by the old tightly uh, on the flush consolidation. And every time it peaks its head up above there, it gets rejected, but it's slowly trying to gain steam. And you can see the volume is massively declined in the daily time frame from when the big sell off happened after just nothing with volume it's massively declined so there's going to be another big volume spike somewhere and it's either going to be a big pump to the upside and you would get back up into this traded area or you would get rejected in here somewhere and trade all the way down here around that uh top part of the last line of defense to the shit house, right down there at about 20 cents and we do have that underneath target from what we had going on back here in this symmetrical triangle 12 and a half to 13 month consolidation that we thought or i thought and you thought uh that it had a higher probability and it would break to the downside and that was the macro forecast right and it almost hit that target before this long consolidation here so if this does break to the upside in xrp that's why we've been talking about that 48 to 52 cent range because on a big volume spike down here that comes in finally, a logical spot again, conveniently enough in the daily time frame. if you look down there, is the 200 day in green is right over this major uh, white area. And we have it that white area there based on the volume indicator. And that would act as major overhead resistance. And when I see the 200 day and another volume uh, profile, uh, resistance zone I say that is the absolute logical range where it would get rejected and at least come back and back test the 100 day or the 50 day before uh, tagging them and going back and holding them to go to the upside if it was going to continue up right so that's what I'm looking at right now in the crypto sphere 
I'll make some more videos here in a little bit. Peace and love, peace and love.